Hello, this is Paul talking to you about high-powered rocket construction again. Well, today we're going to discuss the anatomy of a shred. <clears throat> I have here some remnants of my PML, my public missile, Lunar Express. Now, it had been through a lot. Admittedly, it had a bad accident last year at Snow Ranch, where due to uh, inertial separation of the nose cone, it almost shredded there but it did have a horrible recovery where some of the fins were snapped so I took the rocket and built new fins and everything fit perfectly and I glued it and reinforced it very very tight and painted it and it looked just perfect when I flew it on a Cicerone motor at um, um, October Skies at Maddox Dairy with uh, Tripoli Central California it just shredded. What happened is it went up under power and I thought, oh, this is going to be great. As soon as the boost ended, you know, as it enters that transonic phase where maximum speed is achieved, this thing just came apart everywhere. The Every fin came out. Um, the nose cone turned sideways and I understand the nose cone so it was going to save it for me out there at uh, Tripoli Center of California. But uh, my recovery system PML shoot just stripped so hard, so quick, just one little strout, uh, one little link here left, one little uh, uh, fabric, nylon fabric uh, piece of uh, material, and the rest of it just shredded. Now, I've got to say that PML stuff is good for an initial rocket here who's building for maybe the first couple years of this hobby. Um, I think some PML kits are incredibly fine. I really like the Tempest a lot for either hybrid or uh, solid uh, propellant use. The Tempest is very nice. The Miranda is nice. The Io and Callisto, uh, they're must, those are must-owns to a young rocketeer who's just coming up to high power. Uh, and of course, I think the Endeavor is a very fine kit. I really like my Endeavor, and I might build another one. But the problem with the PML kits come when uh, you get to the larger PML designs, I have seen a number of those petrodactyl, large petrodactyl kits shred up at uh, Black Rock Desert. And I think somehow having the whole rocket being built out of uh, plastic, uh, they use a plastic uh, quantum tubing, they call it, and it gives a nice finish. It has no spirals, but I think you get some kind of rhythmic vibration because the thin fins probably wobble and flutter. Um, you have to get it into a um, wind tunnel to check, but I, I think I noticed a little flutter on some of their, their uh, bigger finned rockets. Now, I recently, a couple, couple of uh, rocket launches ago, I shredded some more PML kits. Uh, these were kits that had big fins that stuck out and were just glorious. Of course, everything was reinforced with fiber, uh, glass, and uh, resin epoxy. It didn't matter, things just still shredded. So some of these PML kits are are just fine for mid to low high-powered rocketry, but once you start getting the higher power, I think you got to look somewhere else besides PML for high-powered uh, rockets that you can trust and won't shred apart on you. Um, now, somebody asked online, what are good rocket kits to buy to, to uh, start out with? And he was afraid of the cost. Now, I, I remember some really great kits, and they're still available, and I still see them flown. Really good lock kits. Uh, a lock kit to buy when you're starting out is a high-powered Rocketeer, is a Lock Aura, an Onx, or a Starburst. Um, those are all fun rockets, and they're small. I think they're under $25. Of course, the little Nuke, excellent rocket. It's another one of those little rockets that everybody ends up buying and flying, and it's a great rocket. Um, another good rocket if you're starting out a rocket kit is the Aerotech Cheetah, or IQSY Tomahawk. And the IQSY means the International Quiet Sun Year, which was longer than a year. That's another story. Um, another great lock kit for people to get. Uh, this this uh, person on the Internet wanted to know what he could level cert one on. And I recommend that you get the uh, Lock Easy Eye. The Lock Easy Eye, you can fly it as a certification for level one. And then uh, you can step up and use the same rocket and fly it for a level two uh, certification. So uh, I think... Right now I'm building some rockets that are using uh, um, 
three 16th inch Baltic uh, birch plywood fins that are epoxied onto the uh, fiberglass rocket tube and internal uh, uh, fillets and, and buttresses inside the tube uh, with fiberglass and uh, this tube is not going to come apart I'm sure of it and uh, I have to think you think of Polecat or uh, Rocket Dynamic Systems RDS these are rockets that are really for high power use and when you start getting to that uh, level where things get really crazy and crazy fast you've got to make sure that your rocket won't just fly apart into it and when they say shred they mean shred because the thing shatters it looks like into 10,000 little toothpicks so oh yes my hat for Cal Berkeley Cal Berkeley football we won again yesterday even though we probably didn't deserve to win we won in overtime and we beat Washington the Washington Huskies the team that formerly had our number every time we played them well that's it for discussing shreds and rocket kits uh, tell me if anybody sees this uh, go ahead whoever sees this and knows about rocket kits that they like and comment back to me about the rocket kits that you like and uh, you know I can see why people eventually start scratch building because uh, it's like making your own food you, you know that you're a better chef than any chef you can go out and eat, eat uh, most restaurants that you go out with you could probably be a better chef than the chef and uh, the same goes with rocketry. Uh, I'd like to thank you, and uh, it is... Uh